Alrighty, folks, you know I'm feeling great on a Monday morning because we're now 6-0 in our last six NBA tier package picks on my premium site. And I'll explain a little bit more about all that in just a moment. But before we go ahead and move on, just want to take a quick time out and welcome you to my Major League Baseball free pick video here today for Monday, April 1st, 2024. Happy April Fool's Day to you. Hopefully you trick somebody really good and ruin their day. My name is Brock Page. I've been dishing out free sports picks right here on YouTube since 2016. And that ain't no joke. That ain't no April Fool's. We've been doing this for a pretty long time now. And of course, if you want to see which one of these free plays on my videos that I actually like the best, you may want to think about signing up for my full access, all-inclusive chairman package. Chairman members get access to every single premium selection of mine, every single package, every single day for the next 30 days. And as an added bonus, uh, added bonus you also get access to my chairman podcast absolutely free. It's going to be included with your purchase. And of course, uh, you know, the chairman package, that includes access to my NBA package, where once again, we are 6-0 in our last six plays in that membership. Of course, the good news is we have another NBA tier package pick going off here today. Now, real quick, you may be wondering what the difference is between what I do here on the free videos and what I do on my premium site. Well, what I do here on the free videos is I'll handicap the entire slate of games in any given sport, side in total. What I do on my premium site is, well, I actually share with you which one of these free plays on these videos that I actually like the best. Now, guys, I'm 7-2 in my last nine daily best plays, 3-0 in my last three underdog tier package picks. And finally, folks, we are 6-0 in our last six NBA tier package plays. And the good news is we have picks going off in all of those packages here today, and they're all included with your purchase of the Chairman Package. Once again, the site's patreon.com slash Brock Page. And with that, folks, we're going to go ahead and dive into some breakdowns. We're going to start off with the Braves at the White Sox, 210 Eastern first pitch. Atlanta's minus 230, totals nine. Charlie Morton for Atlanta, Chris Flexen for Chicago. And despite a solid uh, uh, spring training for Flexen, uh, he did finish last year with an ERA close to seven. And uh, even if Flexi has a good showing here today, uh, the White Sox did get swept by Detroit to start the season. And they scored just eight total runs in three games. Definitely struggling at the dish. Yoan Moncada went just two for 13 through three games. A uh, handful of strikeouts at the dish. And Andrew Benatendi, he also went just two for 12 with only two total bases in the series. And they're going to have to face the crafty Charlie Morton, the crafty veteran Charlie Morton, who uh, looked pretty good in spring training at 40 years old. Morton struck out 17 batters through just 15-plus innings. Uh, actually finished camp with an ERA in the twos. Now, Morton also had 14 wins last season with the Braves with an ERA of 364. Not too bad for your number four starter in the rotation. And, of course, uh, this Braves lineup, uh, they can outscore anyone. Uh, like I said the other, uh, other day, there's really not a lot of holes when it comes to this lineup. Uh, they did put up 25 total runs through three games with the Phillies, and they do have a handful of guys with multiple hits. Michael Harris went 6-for-13 in the opening day weekend series. Uh, Harris also scored five total runs. And Orlando Arcia went 6-for-12 with an OPS close to 1,300. Now, injury-wise, uh, Chicago's Eloy Jimenez left the game Sunday uh, with left abductor soreness. Keep an eye on him. Can't imagine he's going to suit up here today. Uh, if he does, maybe in a limited pinch hitting role. Uh, now, total-wise, the Braves' first three games of the season with uh, Philadelphia all flew over the posted total. Give me Atlanta minus one and a half over nine. All right, next game, Royals O's, 635 East. Baltimore's minus 145, totals eight and a half. Dean Kramer for Baltimore, Michael Waka for Kansas City. And even though I really can't complain about Waka, uh, I do feel like Baltimore can pretty much outscore these guys. Uh, the O's scored 24 total runs in their opening two games this year, and uh, they got more of a handful of guys in this lineup who can pound the baseball. Gunnar Henderson's 4-for-10 on the season with an OPS in the 1400s. 
And of course, Ryan Mountcastle, he's hitting 400 himself with a hand, uh, handful of RBI. Now, pitching wise, Dean Kramer had a decent spring training. He threw 16 innings, he fanned 16 batters. And uh, Kramer actually finished spring ball with an ERA in the threes. Now, total wise, two out of Baltimore's three games this season did get over the total. The Wild KC saw their contest yesterday with Minnesota get over the line themselves. Give me Baltimore minus 145, over eight and a half. All right, next matchup, Giants-Dodgers, 10-10 Eastern first pitch. The LA Dodgers are minus 210, totals eight and a half. James Paxton for Los Angeles, Keaton Wynn for San Francisco. Now, the youngster Wynn, uh, he had uh, about 42 innings of work under his belt last season uh, with the Giants, and uh, he did finish the year with a solid 1.03 whip. And as far as spring ball is concerned, well, you know, pretty much more the same uh, in limited action. And uh, this San Francisco lineup, you know, they did a nice job of producing runs over the weekend. They scored 25 times over the course of four games. Uh, and Michael Conforto led the charge with six hits in that series. Now, Matt Chapman also went five for 18 with a pair of homers and six RBI. And they're going to face James Paxton here today, who... Hasn't had a solid year since 2019. Uh, Paxson actually uh, started 19 games this past season with Boston, and he had an ERA of 450. And as good as the Dodgers have been at the plate for the most part, they do have a handful of guys who are uh, just not getting it done at the dish. James Outman's just 2 for 17 on the season. Gavin Lux just 4 for 20 on the year himself. Uh, I think the Giants can certainly keep this one close. Give me San Francisco, plus one and a half, under nine. And with that, folks, we're going to jump into our quick pick recap. Give me the Braves, minus one and a half, over nine. Rockies, plus one and a half, over seven. I'm 6-0 and oh in my last six NBA package picks on my premium site. Pittsburgh, plus a dollar, under eight and a half. Orioles, minus 145, over eight and a half runs. Cincinnati Reds, plus one and a half, over eight and a hook. Angels plus a dollar under eight and a half. Give me the over eight and a half in the Rangers Rays game. Uh, Detroit plus a buck 20 under seven and a half. Blue Jays plus a buck 20 over nine. Boston minus 140 under eight. Guardians minus a buck 10 under eight runs. Yankees minus a buck and a quarter over 10. Padres plus a dollar under eight and a half. Give me the Giants plus one and a half under nine. And with that, folks, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on my premium site. Now, if you do end up getting a membership here today on patreon.com slash Brock Page, just a friendly reminder, you're going to get access to that membership every single day for the next 30 days. As an added bonus, you're also going to get access to all of my cheaper memberships absolutely free. They're going to be included with your purchase. That's why I was telling folks that Chairman Package, it's a full access, all-inclusive membership. Gives you access to every single premium selection of mine, every single package, every single day for the next 30 days. And as an added bonus, you also get access to my chairman podcast absolutely free. It's included with your purchase. But most importantly, folks, got to thank you for joining me right here on the free video. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. With that said, folks, happy Monday to you. Happy April Fool's Day to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my premium site at patreon.com slash Brock Page.